Electricity meter. This one is made by GEC meters and is a type C11B3A-H. The H suffix on this is in reference to an anti-reverse device, so this meter cannot be reversed. I acquired this back in 2009, this uh, electricity meter and I've never used it but I did reset it to zero so that it can be put into my collection. The characteristics for this one then are single phase two wire 20 to 80 amp 230 volts 50 hertz alternation frequency. The load wheel speed on this one is 200 revs per kilowatt hour. This one was first calibrated and put into service in 1995. Let's zoom in on it. There it is then. At the bottom there we can see the serial number where it says K95D. I'm not quite sure what the K001 is all about but there it is. Right at the bottom of the specification plate the previous owner decided to scratch off who the previous owner was. So I cannot really say that this meter was an ex-service instrument because someone's obviously been in there and had a good old scratch at the specification plate. There was another instrument previous to this, which was the C11B2, and that was single tariff as well. A little bit later after this instrument was made, the company was taken over by ABB, and I do believe that they carried on manufacturing these, but it's obvious that the GEC logo was removed and replaced with the ABB logo. There's the characteristics there, 200 revs per kilowatt hour, single phase 2 wire with the little anti-reverse logo. There's the model number and the serial number there. And as you can see there it says K95D on it which indicates that it was the first year that this instrument was put into service. And just to prove that it says 1995 there. So there it is. And also on the window, just up a bit if I can get this camera tripod to behave, there's a sticky label there which says certified T1195, which narrows it down a bit more because this one was calibrated in November 1995. There it is. This instrument has a one piece polycarbonate front case but the earlier C11B2s had a Bakelite front case with a glass window. As such this instrument can take a bit more in reference to knocks and bumps than what the other ones can which broke easily. So there we are. The back case and the terminal cover remain more or less the same. So there it is. I do believe that this instrument is due in for a retest on the calibration because when I obtained this I did give it an accuracy test just to make sure it was all okay and it seemed to be. And I haven't retested it since so that may be another video on my channel and also what I would like to do on another video is just to power that up so that we can see the load wheel go around in there and have it register a load. The interesting thing to note about this, even though it doesn't have a reading on it, is the one tenth dial, which is that red number. So that's zero then. There's a little section on that which you can see, and when that comes round to zero, that zero actually looks like a number nine. And then what happens is, 
it changes into a zero, and then the number next to it, to the right, will then advance up one. Currently, that's obviously a zero because I reset it to zero, along with all the others. In another video then, a little bit later on, on another day, we should get that powered up, and I'll be able to whiz that right up to a certain speed. Get it to register up, and what we should do is get that zero to go right the way round, and I should do a little demonstration of that uh, zero being a number nine for a little while, and then changing to a zero, and advancing that up to one kilowatt hour. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in to watch this one. As and when there's going to be more electricity meter videos coming up on the channel, so please do stay, please do stay tuned for those. For now, thanks for watching.